ABAP and CAP are not separate universes. They can be easily connected. And I'm happy to have our next developer advocates, Mamiki and Nico here on stage, who will present how this works. Salam, Mamiki. Hello, Nico. The stage is yours. <laughs> Thanks, Jürgen. And hi, everyone. We want to show you how easy it is to get started using business events as part of your own applications or to extend standard SAP applications. This new technology allows ABAP developers to use RAP to define, raise, or catch events. On the other side, it allows, developer, allows developers to use CAP to do the same in non-ABAP runtimes. And the SAP BTP event mesh allows for a seamless exchange of these events from all BTP runtimes and programming models. Now we'll start on the ABAP side. We have several objects here, which are all a part of the ABAP RESTful application programming model that we created to list all people involved in this keynote. So we have our transactional database table, several CDS views on top of that table, and of course we have our behavior definition. We want to persist the new transaction, but also send out an event when it gets created. We're using a managed scenario here, and you'll notice that we also have the define, define the with additional save, and the additional save here is key. Now, this lets us write our own safe handler, which gets fired in addition to the managed safe handler. And this way, we can add the event, add the event raise on save with our own logic. And then at the very bottom, we have our event send group, which uses a parameter. This parameter is an abstract entity that defines the event payload. So now, let's look at our implementation class. There we go. So we have the save modified method here that allows you to add additional logic when the save occur. And this is the new syntax for raising the event, raise entity event. We as developers, we don't have to deal with the technical details about how this is being sent to the met event mesh. It's all abstract. We just say that we want us to raise the event. This is the event name, and here's the, the data for the payload. And next, we want to receive the event in a CAP application. Let me just jump in here. The Business Application Studio went to sleep while I was backstage. <laughs> we'll be right back. So I'll grab a new terminal here. So we're in our CAP application. And one thing I want to point out is that we haven't even deployed this application to SAP BTP at this point. We're going to run the CAP side of this locally during development. And that is made really simple to do because I can just do a CDS bind and then give it the name of the service, which is TechEd 2022. This is a quick and secure setup since none of my credentials were ever stored as part of this test configuration. I can now start the service with CDS Watch. It is now connecting to the event mesh service in the cloud with all the technical details which I didn't have to maintain. And it is. Now, listening for the event. Here we go. So now we go back over to the ABAP side. Now we can go ahead and run our RAP application from the service binding. We're going to go ahead and create a new crew member. So we're going to enter first name, last name, and email address. Select Create. And now we can see right here, <laughs> there we go. Now we can see that the event was listening to our event, uh, to our event in fact, and heard the event, and now can process the event and do additional tasks on the CAP side as well. That's right. And all of this is multidirectional. So we also set up the ABAP system to receive events. This can be a great way to extend or respond to a standard SAP object events. Or we could go the other direction and send events from CAP and have them received on the ABAP side. As you can see, that's a super easy way to integrate RAP and CAP applications together using the SAP BTP event mesh functionality. Back to you, Jürgen. Mamiki, Nico, thank you so much. Thank you. You have seen it's really never been easier to um, create event-based extensions and connect them to ABAP Cloud and CAP.